the things we've noticed this year is that um, lots of the microwave vendors have been uh, talking about their higher order modulation schemes. So going from 256 qram to 512, 1024, and even 2048 qram in the case of NEC. Um, and obviously that gives uh, an uplift in capacity. It's a really impressive technical achievement. So going from 256 qram to 1024 qram gives you a 25% uplift in capacity, which is yeah a really impressive technological achievement. Um, what we've noticed is Cambridge Broadband um, doing multipoint is that uh, the nature of data is changing though. So if you look at the um, backhaul requirements for a node B, you find that the peak to mean ratio of the traffic is typically uh, 4 to 1 on average. So uh, what that means is that if you've got a point-to-point uh, -point or any kind of dedicated backhaul link, then uh, obviously your peak is going to be the peak and then your mean traffic is just going to be the mean offered load. So if you have a peak to mean ratio of 4 to 1, what you're going to find is that your uh, backhaul link is only 25% utilised. So you've got that incredible um, 1024 QAM system, which, you know, superb technological achievement, but it's just sending idle cells for, uh, or idle patterns for 75% of the time on average. And that's, uh, that seems a real waste to us. And that's why we think that uh, the benefits that point to multipoint has with inbuilt statistical multiplexing really lets you uh, leverage the, uh, the new capabilities in microwave.